Welcome, today I've got a quick video for you on how to convert to a stubby gas lens kit. And this example we have today is a 17 size and style torch. And we're just gonna show you kind of why you want to do this. I'm fairly new to welding and it was actually fairly difficult to find this information. So I figured I'd make a video on it and help anyone out that is in the same boat. So with a standard TIG torch like this, uh, you're looking at a little over seven inches in total length. So it's actually fairly large. And when you're trying to hold it and get it around different objects, it can be fairly large. Uh, most TIG torches will come with a small back cap. So you can remove this back cap um, just like this. You can just pop it off. And if you remove the tungsten and put a smaller tungsten in, you can run a shorter back cap and a small tungsten, but you're still left with the fairly long, little over inch and three quarter, uh, just typical Illumina cups. So this one happens to be a number seven, but really the big difference is with the, the stubby gas lens kit is the first part is the stubby. So you go from these long cups to a significantly shorter cup that I'll show you in just a second. And you go from having just these holes that the gas flows through and sprays against the inside of the cup and then just comes out in a, in a random pattern or whatever pattern those holes produce, you get a lens that is made of mesh stainless steel that flows straight out. So let me show you the difference here. So first of all, if you don't know what size torch you have, you can just measure your collet body. And if you are inch and seven eighths, you know that you can use this style kit. This is for 17 style TIG torches and 26. Those uh, will all work with these. So let's jump into it. So if you go to weldmonger.com, or a bunch of other places you can get this kit, which is the stubby gas lens kit. Let's pull it out and take a look at some of the details inside. So what you get is this Furic gas lens adapter. And so you can see it says Furic on there and inside you'll see that there's stainless steel mesh. And what this does is it makes the argon flow out more evenly and more laminarly uh, in the, in the direction that the cup is. So you get a more equal flow where the gas flows out. So you need this adapter, which I will put a link in the description for, and it comes with two different nylon cups for different style torches, and it gives you a collet. Uh, this is the typical just angled uh, wedge, angled collet for the tungsten. And then it gives you this silicone o-ring, it gives you a couple of those. And what you'll notice is on the Furic cups that are glass, you'll wanna use this o-ring and the o-ring goes in this groove right here. So typically there's threads just all the way down here and you just put the o-ring in this groove that is machined in instead of having threads all the way through. And we'll show you that in a second. So now that we have the parts that we need uh, we're going to go look at this Weldmonger stubby gas lens. These are the Illumina cups. These are just the typical pink style cups that you'll see. And open these guys up. And I think they range from 87654. So you get two of each. And this is about $18. Really a good deal if you... Uh, you get plenty of them to break them, but the ones that I'm really interested in are the seven and eight. You can essentially weld pretty much anything uh, that you need to with a TIG torch with a seven or eight gas lens. And so let's just go with the eight here. You can see it's got the Weldmonger logo and uh, there's threads up inside of it. So that's what the cups look like. And if you check out the stubby gas lens adapter, they just thread together like this. So once they're threaded in, you'll be ready to go. So what we need to do is now get the torch 
and we're gonna just take the back cap off just for a second so you can see the whole process. And we're gonna remove this nylon. So this guy just comes off. There's just a rubber lip on the inside here. Pop this guy off. And there's two different sizes just to kind of adjust for any differences that people have in the, in the TIG torches. So I'm gonna see which one I've got. Oh, that one worked perfectly. So there you go. Now, all we need to do is thread in our stubby gas lens adapter from Furic. This is a 332nds tungsten. So pretty much anything, if you're, if you're very new to this, you can weld essentially everything that you need to do. Obviously some people would argue, but with a 332nds tungsten and a number eight gas lens, you can pretty much do anything you need to do. So just thread that guy on. You'll need to get a stubby tungsten. And you might be wondering, well, where do I buy stubby tungstens? Well, they're just a big tungsten like this, but you break them down. So what you can do is just measure the length that you need of the tungsten and mark it at the back, put it in a vise or in some pliers, and you can just crack them and they break in half and then you're ready to go. So I have already done that and I've got it sharpened on both ends. Just another little uh, tip, if you sharpen them on both ends, if you mess one up, you can just flip it around and you've got another tip ready to go. So take the collet, slip it in, and then you just drop it in just like that. Get the stick out. Typically with a gas lens and uh, other cups, you can do as much st stick out as the width of your, as the width of your cup. So if your cup is a number eight, uh, the cup sizes are in sixteenths of an inch, so eight sixteenths, which is half, and you can stick out about a half, and you will be safe in that zone. So next, we're just going to take the back cap, push it on, like this, tighten it up, and we have completed our stubby gas lens kit. So significantly shorter. I think we were a little bit over seven inches. Uh, yeah, we were over seven inches in total torch length. Now we are under three inches. So, I mean, more than double uh, cutting down in size. And I can also tell that just the weight is smaller and you can see this other alumina cup, uh, just that difference there is quite significant. Now let's go into the bonus. And this is if you're gonna use clear Furic style cups. Um, there's other brands that make them. You can get them from eBay and different places that are cheap too, but uh, let's bring these in. I actually found these ones on Amazon. I can link a description, uh, link in the description below. These are number eight pro cups. So you can get all, si all different sizes and shapes of cups, but Tycon Industries happened to sell these and Weldmonger was out of them but they come in a four pack. Uh, they're $40 roughly, so it's about $10 per cup. I'm guessing they give you uh, four of them because they expect one to be broken in shipping, another to be broken the second you put it on the torch, and uh, the other two are the ones you actually use for the next five years. So let me just pull this guy up, pull one out the back for you, and you can see just how nice they are. They have a little bit of a bevel. They just uh, neck down to the number eight, which is a half inch orifice on the end of the glass. So you use one of these O-rings and the O-ring will go just onto this area here that has uh, a cutaway. And then you just take this and slip it on just like that. And so now you have a glass lens. And so you'd wonder why, if you're unfamiliar with it, you wonder why, why would I use the glass? Well, when you're welding down here, it actually helps that you can see the puddle through, um, you can actually see the puddle through the glass. So you can watch the back side of the weld and the, the middle of the puddle a little bit better just through the glass. One other benefit is that it lights up like in a light bulb. So the tungsten is glowing and the weld, the light from the weld is coming through and it just brightens up everything. You can see everything a little bit better. So 
that is the conclusion of the stubby gas lens conversion. I hope this helped. I hope I didn't miss anything, but really all you need is the right cup set for the stubby gas lens cups, or you can get the Furic uh, gas lens, the glass lenses, and then you need the adapter. And if you want to keep it really short, you go to the small collet on the back, or you go to the small back cap, which is significantly shorter than the, the significantly shorter than the standard cap. So that's all there is to it. So basically all we need is the gas lens adapter, an alumina cup, and or if you go with the glass cups, you can get the Furic glass cups. And if you really want, you can do the small back cap. That also takes a lot of the sizing out of it. So that's it. 330 seconds gas lens. Number eight, if you want to go with that, obviously there's a lot of different sizes, but this will do pretty much everything. Number eight, alumina cup, and or you get a glass Furic cup with the O-ring adapter. One side note is, uh, you can run the non furic branded adapters for these, but you just stick the O-ring kind of in the threads and after a while the O-rings will tear. But if you buy the furic brand uh, adapters, they have a, a ring cut in them for the O-ring. So that's it. That's how you convert your number 17 torch to a stubby gas lens and get some of the benefits associated with that. Thanks.